Hi, in this video we want to talk about customizing the toolbar. So from here to here it's a default uh, toolbar and from here the second one but this one is made by me. Let's see how to do that. Uh, right click customize we have some menus and we choose toolbar and for example let's suppose you very often want a view of 150 so you insert over here with arrows and ok and I have here for example when working you don't right click here and choose that one but simple one click and you have the view you needed so it's much easier with icons let's see more we have many many options here we can add to have as icons so we don't have to search for them in the menus okay so to go in a menu sub menu and so on until we find an option epub you can create an epub just clicking an icon you can insert footer footnote many many options of course we can uh, remove the existing one I can remove bold let's see so I don't have bold here let's move back because I need it let's add increase and decrease the font size this will decrease with two points so we have them here let's press ok so now let's uh, first let's select some text and let's increase the font two by two uh, points and decrease again now let's see what options do I have here so QR code or barcode I write the text and insert the QR code about LibreOffice so if I want to know what version I'm using I have a star instead of going here help about LibreOffice and I have the same window creating closing the document very easy i can have that close exporting as epub and i have many options here in order to create a book if i like uh, very much to use a uh, spacing of 1.5 and very often i will use that size i can create an icon with that size so when i select the text i press here and i everything is done Okay, um, now let's see the next one. It's page count. How many pages are in the document? Let's write in this document. I have, I don't know, pages. I have to insert here the number, click here. And now let's create another page. And let's go up. In this document, I have two pages so it's correct and very easy to insert that uh, option now let's see what we have more let's go to the next one the next one is margins so let's choose very easy we can see in real time how it's changing everything is changing very quick or we can use a custom margin for our document and very easy we see in real time what we are doing the same with choosing the paper size okay a4 and so on paragraph here let's uh, have a spacing below paragraph but i have just one paragraph so it's not visible um, let's increase above and the line but let's create now the second paragraph so let's press enter so I have this distance between two paragraphs because I set 0 7 and you can see now it's smaller another option let's copy this text let's go to here more options of pasting so let's see when we click on there we have this window paste special for example we can paste as a uh, link data link 
so what I am changing above is change below. You can see here above I have a text and the same text is here. They are connected. It's the same thing as right click, pay special and have these options here. Okay, so it's the same thing as this window. Now let's talk about the next one, unformatted text. So you have to go to pay special on this first option. Okay, so it's this one, but it's much simpler with this icon. We can click and it's done. Okay, we can, when we printing, we can print like that with choosing how many pages and so on. But if we have one page and want all the pages, we just print directly. Here we change the printer settings. This is not available at the moment. Sections. We can create a section, for example, selecting this paragraph, click on this. I want three columns in this section. Uh, they are not very visible because uh, I have zero space between them. Let's remove. Let's put three centimeters between them. So now I have column one, column two and column three, and I have this space between them. Insert box, I insert box very easy from here. Another way from menu is going to insert and text box here. Okay, so insert text box, but it's much simple with icons. Refresh update of index is not available. I don't have uh, indexes in the document at the moment. So it's not not working. Okay, uh, let's go to the next one, uppercase. Uh, one way to do that is going to, let's see, format text and uppercase. But much simpler, click here. So you can see how simple it is to use icons when you need it, when you use them very often so uh, this is a way of doing that uh, we have very very many options that can be added uh, for example let's add a uh, number format as percentage so if i write here this number and i go here now it's a percentage if i insert from toolbar Another option for number, let's see, number as decimal, okay, and now I have here, if I select it, I can change it at the decimal or, or percentage, okay, very, very easy. So I hope this was very useful for you, it's very use, uh, useful and you can change here between these menus and start to learn about all them thank you